Alrighty, it's time for another 6.5 PRC video. It's been a little while since I've shot the 6.5 PRC, and I have 15 pieces of Hornady 6x fired brass that needs fire. So today we're going to use the 130 grain ELD match with that Hornady 6x fired brass, CCI number 34 primers, and H4831SC. Now I haven't used this powder very much, but being one of the Hotchkin Extreme powders, it should provide us good results. Today we're going to start out at 55.0 grains and work up to 56.0 grains in half grain increments. Now Hornady lists a max of 56.6 grains at right around 3100 feet per second, so hopefully we're not starting out too high. Now Hornady also lists an overall length of 2.90. These hit the lands in my rifle at about 2.996, so we're going to load them at 2.950. Now I did make a video of the loading process here. I will throw a card up on the screen when that video comes out and you guys will be able to see the process I take loading these up. But in this video we're just going to head out to the range and we're going to shoot them and we're going to see how they shoot. Alright, we are out here on the range. Target is at 100 yards. Um, it is a little bit cool out today. We're getting velocity through our lab radar. Um, this is my Bagara B14 HMR. Chamberton 65 PRC. You can see the details kind of about the gun there on the screen. Um, we're shooting a 130 ELD match from Hornady, and uh, we're going to see how it shoots. The gun is cold, and uh, I believe the gun's dirty, and I can't even really remember the last time I shot this gun. Not that it's been all that long, but it's been a few weeks. So we're going to single feed these, just kind of out of convenience. Um, these will fit in the magazine, but a lot of times with this gun, it single feeds so well, I just go ahead and do that. So we're going to find out how it shoots. All right, so our point of impact is a little bit to the right there, um, which is gonna make the target kind of a mess. But uh, we're gonna just go ahead and shoot it anyway. Or maybe these just aren't gonna group. So that actually didn't end up being too bad a group. Uh, I think we had that kind of point of impact shift to the left there for the cold bore, which is kind of odd, but not a bad start. We were 3,042 feet per second average with an 8.7 SD. So pretty good start. They were predicting us to get about 3,100 feet per second out of our top load. So hopefully we don't get into any pressure issues. All right, I'm actually not gonna move the scope. Um, we're just going to leave it and go ahead and shoot them. Had that little bit of a point of impact. We screwed it up just a little bit. Still looks like a nice group. Felt like a really nice shot. Kind of that fifth shot syndrome going on there. Still really happy with that group. Let's see what our velocity looked like. All right, so good velocity numbers. 3,055 feet per second average with a 7.1 SD. And our brass is still looking pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and move on up. Kind of a weird uh, point of impact shift down there from our first group. 
see if uh, we see the same thing out of our last charge here at 56 cranes. Kind of messed up our group there. Felt like a really nice shot. All right, and last one today. All right, and that one grouped up with that first, uh, that one high one. So, uh, not bad groups here. I'm really happy with that second one. Let's take a look at our velocity here. So velocity average on that group there was 30, 75 feet per second with an SD of 5.1. So not bad for some six times fired Hornady brass. Uh, all of our SDs under eight, I think. So let's get over there and let's take a closer look at the target. All right, so we're back at the bench here. We're just gonna take a quick look at the brass. Um, you guys saw the uh, target and the group size and the velocity and all that. So you guys can interpret that how you want. I apologize again for uh, not getting those uh, target cameras going. Um, it did fail on me after about 47 seconds and I did not notice until I shot all the groups. So that's why you're seeing this video on Wednesday instead of my normal Wednesday video. I was gonna throw away the content, but I was like, you know what? People would probably at least like to see this part. So anyway, take a look at our brass here. Um, brass looks pretty good. Um, I think we're probably in safe pressure range. Now this is Hornady six times fired brass, so you can see a little bit of damage. Mm, just on a couple pieces there, but that I think is old damage to the brass. Um, primers look nice and round, look pretty good. So overall, that second group was pretty good. So I apologize again for the target camera screwing up. I will see you guys on Saturday. Thanks for watching.